All right, so now we're going to start putting in details. We'll start on the cab area. Um, work on that first. Um, There's probably several uh, different lessons that we'll do through this, so just keep that in mind. So if you haven't, go ahead and open up the video demo version 2 file. Okay, and we're going to start off first by doing this, this um, windshield area right through there. We're going to um, project a curve. We're going to trim divide so we can get an uh, actual glass area. And then we'll add a little detail of a um, tubular offset to give like a little rubber grommet or, or detail like that. All right, so let me enlarge this one view. And we're going to need to put in, to start off with, a curve that we're going to project. In Alias, there's actually only one type of curve, but there's many different ways to put curves in, meaning that you have curves that are key point curves, which are more cat like. You have blend curves, which are um, kind of more like illustrator curves, although they're three dimensional, really kind of neat. And then finally, um, underneath the curve tabs, the second one, um, remember if you right mouse click, you can look at these things in text form. So let's do that. Um, and it's new curves, we can do by CV, which is kind of hard, um, and actually we'll do edit points. And that's where uh, the curve goes through that point on the curve. So let's start out here, click once, and click a second time. And once again, just kind of click and drag a little bit to position it. And then the third one, we'll do the same, click and drag. And if you don't quite get it the same exact, don't worry about it. A uh, real quick way to show you to edit this. If you um, say pick nothing and then come in and say pick edit point, there's one right there where I clicked at the end, another one there, and another one there. And then you simply say move. It's like anything else in Alias, it works off the same um, move and scale and rotate. If I want to switch, all I got to do is click down here, and now it's on the other point, and I can tweak it that way. All right, so that's uh, set up the way I want to start off with. Good. Now, I want to do, and, and keep in mind, um, with a lot of these tools, um, it's good always just to do pick nothing, pick object afterwards to get out of uh, whatever tool you know, you're working on. So now I need to do surface edit, and I want to use this first one. And let me just double click on it to get to the option box to show you this. Normally this is set to do view, which in an orthographic view like this, that's perfect. That's what I want to use. Up here on the prop line, it's telling you what you should be doing at this point. You usually can pre-select. So if I went ahead and selected the surface, it would just go to the next spot. But in this case, I need to pick the surface. Down here is my little go button. Hit go. Now I'm at my next step. And that's projecting curves. So I'll click right there and hit project. Now in Alias, it's not set up to give you a lot of user feedback. It's a very kind of old interface. So you have to kind of do some checking on these, especially with project and trim and so forth. But let me close this out and say pick nothing, pick object again to get out of the project tool. And then I'll, I'll go back to my left mouse button and say pick curve on surface. And that right there is a curve on surface from that curve. Okay, orthographically projected that way. Now what we can do is that is trim divide. But before I do that, I'm going to do a little house clean. So I'm going to go to Windows, Object Lister. I'll uh, come in here, insert a new layer. We'll call this one Curves. I'll grab the original curve that I've created there. So I'll say pick object, pick it, and then I'll right mouse click and assign. Okay. And then what I'll do is click on this little square that turns off the visibility. So as I continue to work on this, um, I can easily just assign curved layer and get them out of the way. Now they do have history, so if you need to tweak this, move it around, um, you know, I can come in here and say, oops, pick at a point right there at the end and then do my middle mouse button say move and if I do this see how that updates um, so if you need to do some of that you definitely can before you go in and uh, trim divide all right pick nothing once again cab layer that's turned off awesome now we'll go back to surface edit and right here is our trim tool okay so the way this works if you uh, once again click on it to make it active it says select the surfaces there's the surface I want to do. And then down here, you got three different ways to do trimming. You can keep, so if I click right there, it would actually want to keep this. If I say discard, then it would discard that. But I want to do the third one where I divide it. So that I end up with now, 
same thing that pick object right there at that edge you can see I highlight the two different sections there okay that worked nicely um, also over here in diagnostic shade this random color helps you see real quickly that yeah there's a separate surface there and that's uh, another way to quickly check it okay so that's worked out well now let me shade this again so like I said I want to add a little detail to this and that is underneath surfaces and once again I'll use the right mouse click to see the text version of this rolled edge and I want to do this tubular offset and I'll go ahead and go to the option box so once again it says select a curve or intersecting surface so in this case I'll click right there it gives me the choice of the two different trim edges doesn't really matter I'll just pick the first one there this shows you visually how big this is huge compared to what we need um, and gives you the green line indicating where it's going to go so let's cut this down I think about three units um, that looks about right now and then you hit build over here okay and kind of hard to see let's zoom up a little bit so once again that's just a little uh, circular cross section that wraps around you get the ability to kind of move it up and down let's make sure auto update is on so we can see these as we do it so that moves it that way that offsets it in that way that moves it outwards that's kind of like um, top and bottom this will do in and out relative to it um, we'll keep both of these at zero right now just to be at the center of the tubular offset okay so that takes care of that little detail um, and that part of it alright good um, now I'm not gonna mm, well let's go ahead and do the last part of this real quick um, the rest of the body I'll leave kind of uh, that color so go in underneath the control panel click on where it says default and go down and choose visualize in the uh, upper part this is our library and this is that resonant shaders are what part of the um, the file so we got to move something from the main library to the resonant shader tab here and you do that by finding the uh, glass you want to or material you want to use in this case glass um, we'll do this one glass black so just double click on it now it puts it in there and then you say pick nothing select the object you pick a nice from there make sure that's highlighted right there and hit assign okay now this starts off pretty transparent so let's tone that down real quick just double click on it and now you get to the um, editor for this material and right there's transparency let me just grab the slider and pull it back and just cut it back there we go close that one out so now we got the basic form set up um, let's go ahead and do let's close that one down and I think underneath plastic if I remember correctly um, we'll just pick this first black plastic here um, okay and what we'll do with that is we'll assign that to that tubular offset uh, let's pick in the spheres hang on there we go with that and assign to that just to get that a little black detail around there all right we're good to go do a quick save as I'll save as this is video uh, demo 3 then okay now we'll come back in next look at the headlights and then we'll look at the wheel wells uh, as far as our next parts <laughs>